Noob noob, I know what you need. I need to spit out a baby from my uterus. Oh my god, I thought you just needed some of that hot, hot D. That is right, it is your main man Z and Noob Noob here. So we're gonna break down, we're not gonna go crazy, we're just gonna talk about it a little bit. We're gonna talk about hot D. And how much D we can swallow. No, that's what you're going to talk about. I just want to talk about House of the Dragon, the prequel to Game of the Thrones. Game of Thrones? Game of the Thrones? The Game of Thrones. And this is the... Uh, we went through ten episodes. Ten, yeah. And it's all over, baby. It's all over. Making ten that episodes, paper. four dead babies. All the dead babies. So many dead babies. Oh, no, wait. Babies. Did they all die? No, they didn't all die. Dude, yeah, they she died. had like six babies, and I think two or wait, three of them Wait, hold on. It died. opened up with the dead baby. Then there was dead baby in the black girl with the dragon. Oh, yeah, that's the then second Then there dead baby. was... What was third dead baby? I don't think there was a third was dead Was there not a third dead baby? No, I mean, there is at the very end. Reyna has a dead baby. That's fourth dead baby. There is no, a third one babies. we're missing. Well, we'll break through the episodes and see how many... If we can count the dead babies. Yes. Anyway, uh, it was... Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'll give it like, it's not Game of Thrones, like the first couple seasons, but it's still good. I'm going to give it like a seven and a it's half. Definitely out better of than 10. season seven and eight of Game of Thrones. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Mainly because it has Damon Targaryen. The writing's not great, and we'll point out some of the reasons why. The writing kind of like things happen because reasons, especially in the last episode. Um, but there will be spoilers. We're going to take, uh, break a lot of things down here. I'll give you the one spoiler that I'm talking about. So, Princess Buttercup, what's her name? Rhaenyra? No, no, no. The old princess who should have been queen. Rhaenys. The sister. Rain, rain, or cousin or Rainis. whatever. Rain ass. Raina. Whoever she is. One of the R's, but not Rhaenyra. Yeah, that chick. Rainies. Had a chance to literally burn down all of Alicent's. Uh like kids and she everything. could have ended the show she could have ended the show and chose not to because as we hear that happened in episode 9 in episode 10 reasons yes because she's like I don't want to start a war and then literally five minutes later her house like, is I'm gonna join it though yeah literally if you want to start it I'll join I just didn't want to end it I, just, I don't want to take that away from you <laughs> I don't women take empowerment and everything all you know. that jazz it was your moment your moment to shine baby it was so Let's talk about like the first episode. I thought was a little ridiculous. I liked it. Uh, dead baby for sure. A lot of yeah, there was definitely a dead baby. It was alive for a little bit. Yeah, but the whole thing about the whole the whole tournament that's like bad writing because the tournament nobody would send their noble princess to die. We talked about one of the other videos that we did, probably our mid season review. We did have the new hotness though, the we young hot girls. Yes. We're still in it at this point. Ah. Everyone seems to have forgot about the young hot girls. I'm like, what happened? Nobody remembers, but we remember. I'm not sure I felt that they were hot at that point because they were no. trying to be like 12. <laughs> when they compared, when they compared to the uh, the other uh, rest of the. To be what, fair, uh, older Renera looks normal in the she, show. She growing on you? <laughs> no, no, she's not. Well, she's not growing on me. But if you look at the actress who plays her outside of the show, boy, oh boy. <laughs> That's an interesting woman. All right. Well, then you have uh, episode two, the queen dies. Viserys takes on a new wife, Alicent Hightower. And Damon does some things. He ignores, Cor I don't know, stuff happens with the crab people. What doesn't, yeah, the, oh, that's right. The crab dude was like a big bad villain that and uh, died and immediately uh, after crab. I did it, I did like how Damon in episode four mows down an entire army of crab people. Yeah, that was terrible. That was also pretty terrible writing. I mean, like, writing was bad, but it looked cool. Yeah, the visuals are great. It's directed well. It's it's like uh, it's like a slightly more sophisticated General Hospital. Sure, I like where General we Hospital. can accept. You James know, Franco went on General Hospital, so I mean, it, it's a soap opera it's that we legit. can we can you know kind of get behind. I mean, I enjoyed it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying the writing's not great. That's all. It's not not great. It's fun. 
let's make the writing great again. Yeah. Uh, so then we get to episode five. Damon visits his nasty wife, who's a not nice lady, who gets crushed by a horse. Right? That's a thing. Oh yeah, he killed her. That little like that's the other thing. There was like payoffs with no like setups with no payoffs. I forgot that that what, was a thing. What setup did that have? How did that? Uh, he's help now her? free to bang his niece, which he could have done regardless. Like he didn't need that. Yeah. Uh, so what? They only go to uh, uh, level f only episode. F that's right. Only to episode five. That's the one where he tries to bang his niece, and is unsuccessful the first time. Yes, and when but she we'll gets older that. and uglier, then he's like, like, "It's pound town." Time. You know when our chemistry really sucks? Let's have the sex. Let's on the beach. That's the darkness episode. Because they had good chemistry with the younger. Like it was actually like a good, good chemistry between them. For sure, the new one, no. It's just like eh. she's just like there. The other thing that's funny in the book, she's actually supposed to be a little heavier. Like she's supposed to be. Well, she has a lot of kids, so she's supposed to be a fat whore, chunky monkey. Oh, nobody needs that. Well, whatever. Uh, so the princess and the queen. So now, uh, isn't that the one where she? That's like the first time. Oh, she has. I could have swore that was like the third bastard she had. How many? She has a lot of bastards. How many kids does she have? It's I unclear. I feel like they're missing kids. There's also like like they. That's the other problem. They took a. It was really hard to keep track of the kids, and if some of them were married to each other, or like I don't know what was going on. You need like a, a family tree or like a chart to understand what's going on. The intro, which I did a video about that, about how the intro like sucks and they're cowards for just using the Game of Thrones theme with some annoying blood doesn't tell you anything interesting and they don't do a good job of telling you where you're supposed to be like there are times at the end of the season where I'm like are they on Dragonstone or are they on Driftmark I don't know did you have trouble they're in track? places yeah they're in places so Driftmark is a place yeah that's episode 7 that's where the white haired people are yeah those wait yes yes they like to bury people there for some reason. Oh, that's where his, that's where Damon's wife, Matt Smith's wife, gets uh, charred, right? By her own doing. Yeah, that's another dead baby, right? Uh, yes. Uh, episode eight. Viserys, I don't remember. Allison has to deal with a crime. Oh, we forgot about Larry Strong. That's Larry like another, Strong. there was like a, a setup with Larry Strong. Yeah, why is he, he's not, uh, I don't know. They made him out to be like this devious bad guy and people in the middle of the season were like, oh my God, we found out. And then he disappears devious. from most of the rest of the show. Yeah, he's just gone. I keep forgetting that things like pop up and then they disappear. A lot of setups, not a lot of payoffs. They just kind of bring things in for an episode or two. Forget that they the foot didn't stuff, kinky foot, foot stuff. stuff. Oh, remember? oh! Apparently, I saw a thread. It's about the the fact that he has power over the most powerful woman in the realm. Over her feet. Uh, it's it's he can the, make her get up and. Walk. It's apparently the fact that is demeaning to her. Like it's the power of making her demean so herself what? for. And it's okay. Why not just him. have sex with her then? Uh, that's also power over her. What's with the feet? It's called the kinky kink. Nah, there were yeah, kink shaming. We're kink shaming. Nipples, vaginas, titties would be into this. Yeah, he just wants to, uh, you know, skeet, skeet, skeet all Before over her Before or after he murders that wife. You, you missed, oh yeah, well, you missed my joke, but. Skeet, skeet, skeet? All over her feet. Oh, is it because you rhymed? Yes. Oh. I am the new. I don't know if that's a joke, that's Lil just a John. rhyme. Lil Z. No, nope. I'm little baby Z. Uh, baby Z is fine. All right, baby and then Z. you have the final episode. The thing that anno that annoys me about the final episode is they don't go back to Allison's side at all. What I don't—you have no idea what happens on their side. Nobody cares. What really? I you what mean the I, king? They don't care what, what's going on with the king. He is he the king though? What I wanted more of is the dope dragon scenes. That I and uh, I will say there's one thing that people are a little annoyed about too. Is that it? Bec it's an accident in the 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 finale. Is it not an accident? In no, it's deliberate in the books. Oh, really? Yeah, they have a long-standing feud, and uh, they still have that in the show. Yeah, but what's his the the eye patch kid is Amond. Uh, Amond gets insulted by a chick and says like, 
you only have one eye, but d did you lose one of your balls too? So once the chick who's supposed to marry, he's supposed to marry someone from Stormwind? Yes. Well, one of those chicks insult that the chick insults him is like, oh, I guess you don't have two balls. He took one of your balls too. Oh. So he goes after, because he gets insulted, he goes after uh, the kid and takes him out. Look, Harris. Yeah, whatever his name is. Viserys. I thought his name was Luke or something. I don't know. Luke, Luke Harris. Luke. Oh, it's Luke Harris. Okay. Well, he gets chomped. That was and awesome. And his baby dragon. It's very tense. I love the baby dragon. Yeah. I miss that baby dragon. I very mean, sad. as soon as you saw Big Vagar. Big daddy dragon. Yeah, Vagar was pissed. No, no, no. As soon as you saw Vagar when he landed, you're like, this is not ending well. Yeah, I, it was a great scene. I, I thought it was very tense. Well done. The only real episode I have like super complaints about is the dark episode that was like just too dark. What was that the Princess and the what, Queen or Driftmark? Might what the Driftmark. kid should have done was because land he, and hide. He should have just hid in that canyon. Correct. Yeah, like he had the perfect out. Like Vagar is massive. Yes. And he's got a little baby maneuverable dragon. He went in between, escaped him. Just like take a minute, pause, have a nap, double eat back, a, eat a snack. Uh huh. Wait for Vagar to get bored. Find a cave. Instead, he's like, "Let me just quickly fly through this thing," which the dragon could just fly above. And then he, they, lo they both lose control of their dragons. Which again, so that's what's weird is is that the show is ending on a. I think that things more are out of their control. Just like Allison misinterprets what her what uh, her husband says. Viserys is talking about the Song of Ice and Fire, right? But Allison doesn't even know what that is. And she just thinks that he's talking about what isn't the kid. Is his name Ama? Whatever his no, name no, no. is. No, no, no. Who's the king? Renera has a kid named uh, Aegon. And then Allison has Aegon. So they're both Aegon. But he's he would be the second of his name. Yes. And then they that's where he gets confused. Because he's talking about the Song of Ice and Fire. And then in, in order to further explain it, at the end of the, the season... She goes, uh, Renarius goes to uh, her husband, Damon, and goes, he never told you about the Song of Ice and Fire. And yeah, remember, he pulled you into that secret place and said oh, it's only for the king and, and, the, and his successors to talk about the Song of Ice and Fire. So at least that kind of comes into play into, into causing the Civil War and the Rift. I, I think Civil or, or Season 2 is going to be pretty cool. I think they need to hire Henry Cavill as somebody. I don't know where you came up with that rumor. He Why just not? A big deal. I would fine hire him. Whatever. He already looks great with bleach blonde hair in The Witcher. Okay. Just picture him riding a dragon. That's all you need. And I just wanted to point out a couple of co cool things that uh, Matt Smith came up with some pivotal moments from House of the Dragons finale. I thought it was kind of neat. Where he choked a bitch. Yeah, that was that was one hundred percent. He was just like ready to choke a bitch. Why? Like, what? What is his? Like, what did he want? He just wants war, basically. I did say that to you. What is Damon's character arc war. in this? He's just an agent of chaos until I guess. he doesn't want war, and he then literally disappears for ten years. Is like I don't want war. But then he's but like, he's you like, know what? Actually, though, that's what I'm saying. It's not that well. Because I haven't aged any in not the twenty all. plus years that this is time jumps. I do want war. Because I haven't aged enough. Exactly. So the very end scene where they talk to each other, where they don't, you don't also, actually hear what they say. What happened to Pretty Boy? Who's Pretty Boy? Uh, the Queen's little sex slave dude. Oh, he was there. Uh, Not in the in, final episode. No, he was in the other episode. He's but, he was what? training the boys on the beach. Do you remember? Yeah, but what happened to him? That nothing. Just they don't bring him up. No. He's okay. just around. Yeah. Again, a lot of payoff and not a lot of set. Just like they showed you the one brother pleading. Uh, 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 giving his allegiance to Rhaenyra's, right? What brother? There's two brothers who are in the King's Guard. The white oh, clothes. yeah, 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 yeah. One yeah. brother pleads his allegiance to her. One does. They don't show you the other one. They're just like, uh, you're smart enough. You'll get it. You know the other brother is there. Which yep. I don't. I really like that. I don't know. Uh, but Matt Smith improvised this scene where he comes up and tells her, and you don't hear anything. There's no conversation. You just, you just get the depth of their acting and their emotions. Very good stuff. He improvised the final scene of saying your son's dead? Yes. Because you don't hear anything. He just whispers it to her. Yeah, but that he, had to be planned. No, he, they say he improvised it. Just like he improvised putting the crown on Viserys' head. 
He said he, he improvised it during rehearsal and they just kept it in the final version, which I also, you said that was a cool scene. You were no, like, what? I really like that scene. It was a great scene. Improvised by Matt Smith. Matt Smith is the best part of the show other than Patty Constantine. Really? Oh, that was the one thing that made me really sad in the last episode. Matt Smith got first billing. Did he? Patty Constantine wasn't in it. I didn't even pay attention to that. I saw it. I was very sad. I was like, oh, I want more Patty. Yeah. Where's Patty? He's the, one of the best parts of the show. Acting rings around everyone. The guy's Except brilliant. Matt Smith. Yeah. Their, their scenes were the best of the entire show. Yes. Uh, and then let's just talk a couple Twitter reactions that were kind of funny. Uh, their official reaction from Twitter is, the storm broke and the dragons danced. Very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this guy says uh, Lo Lucerius was just a kid, but he was loyal AF to his mother. Renera lost her father, her unborn baby, and her son in just one episode. Yeah, it, that, was, it wasn't one episode. It wasn't ep one episode. Sorry. Jace couldn't say goodbye to his brother. And we have to wait two, two years for new episodes. Wait, two years? Yeah, it's not coming out till 2024. You're kidding. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, it's a shame. What the fuck? I know. I don't think they knew like how big of a hit they had on their hands. Uh, this guy's ready to support more violence for Venary's war crimes next season. Absolutely. Even though they claim that she's the only one holding the kingdom together. Well, I mean, until her son got chomped. Uh, Viserys said it right in the beginning. There's a good pay payoff and setup. The idea that we control the dragons is an illusion. Fair enough. Well, that's kind of how it went. That is kind of how it went. Uh, they love the reaction to Rhaenyra Targaryen's reaction to the death of her son. Yeah, very sad. Sure, I would think improvised scene. Thank you very much. I, I would think a mother would be upset if her oh, son got chomped. Oh, Rhaenyra sent Luke to the Storm's End because it was—it's the closest, and she thought nothing would happen to him. <laughs> so, so sad. She must feel like a dick. Yeah, I I support women's rights. But more importantly, I support women's wrongs and I will support her through whatever she does next season. Okay. That one shot was so cool. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. With, uh, uh, what's his name? Vagari? Varys? Uh, Varys? Ara Araxis, Araxis and uh, Vagar. And Va Vagar is so much bigger. Also, isn't who is that dragon that Damon went to? Is that oh. the biggest dragon? Balerion or whatever the hell? Yeah, is? that's the bronze. It's called the bronze wings. And he's trying... Remember, he made a thing like I'm. There's thir it's thirteen to three dragons or something like that. Vagar is the six. Vagar is the second biggest dragon that's in existence. He's he went for the biggest one. He, he's he's in the volcano. In he's he's the one that was ridden by I don't know somebody, but he was ridden pri previously. There's also a handful of wild dragons. I feel like they're gonna have a lot of money to spend on dragons. This, they should this next one. That was an all. I love how uh, Damon's dragon looks like it's smiling. Maybe there should be some dragon sex in the next season. Well, they had some this one because remember there's eggs. Yeah, but they didn't show it. I like the singing scene was really great. I thought that was great. Yeah. I just thought it was cool. It was well lit. Like, it was good. That's the point is the highs outweigh the lows. I really enjoyed it. It was good times. Good stuff. Bet Matt Smith, as long as he's alive, I'm in. Yeah, keep him alive. Uh, he's probably going to die, but keep him alive. Maybe 10 seasons in he'll die Ew, from knows? old age. Or may he, maybe not. He just doesn't And age. they did fire one of the showrunners or he they, he left the show. Ah. So maybe they'll tighten up the writing a little bit. So not Again, the they're just nitpicks. It's not like I'm like trying to bury the show. But you, you're you're in for more. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. I want double D next year. Double the hot D. Double it down. All right. Well, that's all you got from us here. If you want to hear more, we do have a full-length audio podcast. You can catch it on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places, and more for free for you. We live stream 7.30 p.m. Friday nights, Eastern Standard Time. Come join the fun. Come join the party. It'll be great times. We have a lot of amazing shorts for you. We specialize in the 10-second shorts because you love them. We keep them coming. But uh, be sure to like and subscribe, or there is a chance that Noob Noob will ride his dragon right here. Into your butthole, yes. Oh. And then I will coast, and or not coast, I don't know. I will take your dragon eggs and be their new mother and not give you visitation rights unless you pay me a stipend. Oh, my God. Which will be burritos. Because, you know, why not? Burritos are good. Not Chipotle. I, I have better standards than that. Well, you heard it there from him, but from all of us here at Our Reviews, we'll kill you to all of y'all at home. 
We love y'all, but we are on to the next one. Thank you.